Amen. Glory to God. Make Amen. sure you play this on your website. Amen. Tony Harvin. Make sure you play this. As our hearts are prepared to hear the word of God, I present unto you our pastor, general overseer, the apostle pastor, Gino Jennings. Good evening, brothers and sisters. It's always we bear witness there's only one true living God. Yes, he has no partners, he has no rivals, and he has no equals. He is God alone. He's perfect, and he certainly, by all means, is infallible. God is the true sender of holy prophets. God is the true sender of holy apostles. God don't send nothing else. If it's not holy, God did not send it. We are grateful to be here in the wicked city of Valdosa, Georgia. It doesn't matter how small the city is. I haven't been in no city that's righteous. There may be some righteous people scattered about in every city, but for the most part, the cities of America and the cities of the world are wicked. <clears throat> the mayor, the governor, the police department, the preachers, the churches, the churchgoers, the religions, wicked. Some are wicked, but innocently wicked. In other words, many times they are wicked or in darkness and don't even know it. They are ignorant. It is written for this cause. They are willingly ignorant. Some people are ignorant willingly. In other words, they know better. But then you have those that simply just don't know. They've been going to church for years, got old in some church. Family tree is in the church. That's why we come along to hew the trees down. The preachers, the religions that is here in this city is just like every place else, just on a smaller version. A gentleman, I was coming in a hotel and he Stopped me on the elevator. He said, are you Pastor Jennings? I said, yes, sir. He said, don't you think you're too big or too popular to be in a little town like this? I said, the gospel that I preach is for every place. Yeah. He said, I'm really surprised that you're here. I said, why is that? He said, because what I said is so known. He said, the preachers I see on television that have mega church, they will come to our small town. That's because you can't give them enough money. I don't want your money, I want your soul. Hallelujah. So that's what have us here and Valdos us that I may go after your soul. And God is giving you the opportunity that he has given everybody that hear this message. God has given us a testimony. Every city, every state, every town, every country, every continent where we have taken this message, souls have came out of everything that we just mentioned. Every continent, every city, every state, every town, every village that the true holy message have ever went to, God have brought men and women out to walk with the truth of the gospel, even in the areas that I didn't go into personally. But the word went there. Which is a blessing God knows. You know, many men, as Brother Minister Went spoke, you know, many men 
wouldn't have half of this crowd in their lifetime. They go different places and people don't come and see them or they get a few stragglers. But every place we go, and we got the toughest message in the country. Not just in the country, but in the world. Because whenever, hear me good, you stick to what the word of God said, you cannot be no tougher than that Bible. And it's good, it's strong, it's clean, and it's rare. It's precious, beautiful to see all these young brothers lined up around the walls. If I got any, if I got any visiting ministers here, if I have any ministers here, you're welcome to come up in the pulpit. Some of our brothers that are sitting, they don't mind giving up their seat and, and let you come on up there where it's hot. Now, if you're a woman preacher, you stay right where you are. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I want to greet all of our brothers and sisters internationally that are watching around the world. Uh, to the brothers and sisters throughout Canada, throughout Europe. I want to greet all of our new brothers and sisters in Puerto Rico. Talked to a brother before I came in here from Puerto Rico. He said, Pastor Jennings, I've been, we've been watching the message, I believe, for almost a year, and you turned all of our beliefs upside down. He said, everything, everything I ever believed, everything that we were taught, we found out it was wrong. He said, all of us want to be baptized over in the name of Jesus Christ. All of us. They were all baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, because Puerto Rico, just like so many other places, is predominantly Catholic. He said, do you have any Spanish-speaking brothers? I said, oh, yes. So God willing, we'll be reaching out to them. Minister Abraham will be reaching out to them. Sister Rollins, my secretary, who schedule everything. Uh, we'll be finding a place. We'll set a date. So we can get them brothers and sisters together in Puerto Rico and set up a truth of God camp down there in Puerto Rico so they can have some good Holy Ghost grub to eat. Also, I want to greet all of my brothers and sisters in New Mexico and Old Mexico. You that are watching, God willing, we'll be in Mexico later on this year. To you, that's from the Navajo Indian tribe. They've been watching. They met me in Arizona and went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. We don't travel places and come back empty handed. A holy message guarantees a holy result. No one can make me believe different. When I search the word of God every place where the apostles went. I mean every place. Anytime you can go to jail and the Holy Ghost shake the prison. Amen. And the jailer fall down and I want to be baptized. When you can go in the den of lions. And the power of the word locked their jaws up. When you can be cast in fire. Right. And your accusers check you out and see that you're still walking with no hurt. When waters are willing to separate. On the behalf of God who fight on behalf of his people. This one gospel, and it's strong, too, brother. Glory be to God. It's strong. I see the strength of it everywhere. I get thousands of letters a day. Not once a week. 
thousands upon thousands of letters a day. Phone calls flooding into the church several times a day. Preachers giving up, coming out of organizations and bringing their churches with them, wanting to be baptized along with their congregations in the name of Jesus Christ. I have said moreover, the truth of God is the most talked about holiness program on social media. In fact, it's the only holiness program on social media. The only other holiness program on social media is a dead bishop from Philadelphia who've been dead 60 years. Otherwise than that, there are no holiness meetings on social media. So I say you're wrong there. Oh, our apostolic church is on there. That's right. I said no holiness churches. I'm not apostolic. You see, you that claim you're apostolic at one time, you had respect. But now you let remarriage and divorce take you over. Now many of you is flying rainbow flags. Many of you, you don't believe in no apostles now. How in the world can you be the church from the Lord Jesus Christ and there are no apostles now? I had a man contact me. I talked to him over the phone. He said, there are no apostles now. And he just sent me a brief letter. He said, call me. I want to talk to you about it. And I, I called him. The conversation didn't last long. I said, this is Pastor Jennings, this is Bishop so-and-so. He said, yes, it is. I'm surprised you called me. He said, I felt as though you were too busy. I said, I was. <laughs> I said, I was too busy, but I figure I'll call you and hear what you have to say. He said, you're an apostle. I find that offensive. Mm. He said, all apostles witnessed the resurrection of Jesus. I said, where was Paul when Jesus rose? Mm. I said, Paul wasn't there. He said, you're right. The Holy Ghost just gave it to you. I said, I gave it to you. <laughs> Holy Ghost ain't give you nothing. I just gave it to you. <laughs> Liar. Liar. <laughs> That's right. yeah. Holy Ghost gave it to him. I said, Holy Ghost ain't gave you nothing. I just gave it to you. That's right. That dropped. I said, let me give you some knowledge, Bishop. I said, turn Timothy where Jesus said, Lo, I am with you. Mm -hmm. Let's read this briefly. Mm -hmm. Always, Always talking to his apostles. That's right. I believe the book of Mark. Right. Follow me in the Bible Amen. or the book of Matthew. Lo, I am with you all the way and even unto the end of the world. St. Matthew chapter 28 and we're at verse 20. I want to show you if there's no apostles now, <laughs> How, I'm very confident in it. Yes, this. you are, Pastor. I'm very cool about it. Yes, you are. If there are no apostles now, then you better tell me how can this be fulfilled. That's right. I want to give you something you never thought of. That's right. Hear me good. Come on, Elder William. Matthew chapter 28, and we're at verse 20. Follow me. Teaching them to observe all things. Talking to his apostles. That's right. Teaching them to observe everything. Whatsoever I have commanded whatever you. Whatever I command you. And lo. Listen at what Jesus told them. And lo. Lo. I am with you always. I am with you always. How long? Even unto the end of the world. Now. Amen. Let me give you something to think about. All the apostles that walk with Jesus are dead. That's right. All of them. All of them. How can he be with them till the end of the world? Mm. The world didn't end. How mm. is he still with them and they not here? That's right. That's right. That's right. You twiddle your thumbs over it. Amen. He said what? And lo, I am with you always. How often is he with him? Even How until, often is he with him? I am with you always. 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 
And he don't mean when he dies, when he dies, because the dead know nothing. That's and right. he's not the God of the dead, but of the living. That's right. Lo, I am with you always. How long? Even unto the end of the world. The world haven't ended, but they are dead. That's right. How is he with them? That's right. That office. He is with that office always, always because that office and that position will be in the church until the world ends. That's right. And he's going to raise up men. That's right. To fulfill that office. That's right. Always. Always. Until the world ends. Even unto the end of the world. Hear me good. Amen. Now, you says the scripture that I use that God has, has said, hmm. some of the church first apostles, you say hath mean past. Let me show you how dumb and hell it bound ignorant you are. First Corinthians chapter 12 and at verse 28. I want everybody to follow me in your Bible. We're going to have uh, Sabbath schools this Saturday night. <laughs> That's right. We're going to rest. That's right. Right in the scripture. Right in the scriptures. Listen. First Corinthians chapter 12 and read verse 28. Follow me. And God has. God has. Set some in the church. What? First apostles. Now, men that don't understand the language of the Bible, they say hath mean past. Right. They say that's past. So there can't be no more apostles now because he's saying what he hath done. Right. And if he hath done it, it don't mean present. Well, well. if that's your interpretation. Mm -hmm. That the apostles is passed because he hath done it. And because he hath done it, he's not doing it no more. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get the rest of the stuff that come under the half. And God hath said some in the church for its apostles. What else is half? Secondarily prophets. Oh, that means it can't be no prophets now either. That's right. What else is half? Thirdly teachers. It can't be no more teachers then. After that. What else is half? After that miracle. Then God ain't doing no more miracles at all. He retired because that's half. Then gifts of healing. Nobody else can get healed That's because right. it's half. Helps. Nobody can bear help to one another then because it's half. Government. That means there is no government, there is no rule, there is no law, and the government can't be upon the shoulders. That, that's right. That's right. Because that's right. it's half. Half. Diversities of tongues. There is no speaking in tongue then. That's right. Because if it's half, there is no diversity of tongues and no one can have the Holy Ghost because all of what he's reading coming under half. half. That's, right. That's right. It shows you how void your understanding is. Oh, yes. Yeah, be good. Are all apostles? No. <laughs> Amen. Are all prophets? You ain't no apostle and you got women preachers. No way. No way. You're not an apostle. You justify divorce and remarry. Amen. You're not an apostle and you baptize people any way they want. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ or Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. You're not an apostle and you're a bigot. That's right. Am I right? That's right. You're not an apostle and you're a homosexual. <laughs> Amen. Certainly not. Certainly not. You're not an apostle, and you don't believe Jesus Christ is God Almighty. That's right. Can't be an apostle. Can't be. That's right. Are all apostles? When God called an apostle, mm -hmm. he don't send him right away. No. What is an apostle? An apostle, an apostle is an ambassador. That's right. What is an ambassador? The American ambassador represent this country. Mm -hmm. He got authority from authority to represent authority. Right. So when the American ambassador go to another country, his job is to bring the policies of the American government to that country and not integrate or mix his own feelings, his own idea, but bring the policies of the country that he represents. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The apostles 
were ambassadors. Now then, we are ambassadors. Glory to God. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and at verse 20. Follow me. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and at verse 20. What is it? Now then. Now then. We are ambassadors. We are representatives. For Christ. Amen. An apostle have authority. That's right. From the supreme authority. That's right. To represent authority and not integrate or mix his feelings That's right. with the policies of God. That's right. My job as a policy preacher. <laughs> Amen. I preach a heavenly policy. That's right. I'm not allowed to integrate or mix my feelings or views, nor do I respect nobody's opinion Amen. touching the scriptures. That's right. The only opinion that I believe, listen to, mm -hmm. recognize, respect, hear, reverence, submit to, bow to, want to obey, right. is God's opinion. That's right. What is God's opinion? Except the Lord build the house. Build the house. He labor in vain that build. Builds it. That's God's standard. That's God's views. That's God's doctrine. That's right. The success of the truth of God is all about God. We're not trying to be like no bishop. We're not trying to be like nobody's church. Our interest is stick to the policies that God implemented. Right. These are insurance policies. That's right. These policies guarantee eternal life with God. That's right. Don't waver from God's policies. No way. God's policies has no flexibility. So an apostle, to, an apostle is an ambassador. That's it. He must be called. That's it. What is called? It is not a feeling. No. So. So. So, that's it. Why persecute thou me? That's it. That's right. Call. Call. Are you listening? That's it. Samuel. Wonderful, wonderful. He ran to Eli. I didn't call you. That's right. Samuel. That's right. He ran to Eli. I didn't call you. Moses, take off the shoes. That's right. The ground that you stand on is holy. That's right. What should I say, said me? I am that I am. That's it. How can you be a I am? Amen. I am that. That I am. I am. Yes. But how can you be a I am? Right. The I am is an adjective to what he is. That's right. I am is he's describing himself. Right. When I I am that I am, I have no boundaries. That's right. I have no limitations. So what are you telling me, God? I am what I want to be. I am how I want to be. I am where I want to be. I am whoever I choose to be. That's right. To one person, I am a healer. Because that's what they need right now. That's right. Or another, I am a comforter. Because that's what she needs now. That's it. 
to another, I am that bread from heaven. That's what they need right now. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So an apostle is called oh. and sent according to the scriptures. That's right. Jesus promised who he would call. He said, I will send. Sin. I believe Luke 11, 49. Luke, 11. Luke 11 and at verse 49. Listen at this. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. You see, you fellas that say there are no more, that's not God wisdom. No. That just shows how stupid you are. <laughs> that's right. Because if the Lord wisdom spoke, that's right. this is what I want the world to recognize. Look past how long some man sat in some theology school. That's right. Look past how many languages a man can speak. Look at scripture. That's it. For all preachers that say that there are no apostles now. No apostles. Because they are the foundation. No, God is the foundation. God is the foundation. And the others build thereupon. That's it. Let every man take heed how, how he build. That's right. Listen. Luke chapter 11 and verse 49. What is it? Therefore also said the wisdom of God. God's wisdom says. I will send them. This is what I believe. Amen. I am not moved by the heretic preachers. <laughs> no. Who has no work, That's no right. power. You know, God's power brings the people. That's right. Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, That's I right. draw all men unto me. That's right. And I'm, I'm experiencing that everywhere. Yes, you are. Everywhere. Everywhere. We go to Italy or Ireland or Scotland or Africa or India. I don't care where it's at. That's right. God just draws the people. Hallelujah. Amen. We exalt the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. So strong. Oh, yes. We push it hard. Oh, yes. I'm pushing Jesus on the people. <laughs> That's right. I want to say, what that man selling? Jesus. Jesus. And him crucified. <laughs> That's right. Some even put it out and said, Pastor Jenna don't believe in Jesus. Well, I know the devil certainly ain't doing all this. No way. If you function under the guidelines of the policy of scripture. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, the results that God will show you. Oh, yes. Will be scriptural. That's right. God promised I will do what? Therefore said, also said the wisdom, the wisdom of, God. of God. I will send them. I will send them. Prophets. Prophets. And apostles. And apostles. And some of them they shall slay and persecute. Some of them they shall kill. That the blood of all they the prophets. They shall kill. And some of them they shall slay. They shall slay. And persecute. And prosecute. They're going to persecute you. That's right. And. That the blood of all the prophets. Which was shed from the foundation of the world. What? May be required of this generation. Did you hear that? That's right. That scripture stands today. And in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. Come on, son. And he gave some apostles. Not all. Some. God gave them. The apostleship comes from God. That's right. God stand behind them. That's right. God stand with them. That's right. You elders out there. God have never, yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. God have never called or sent no. a elder direct. That's right. Never. Never. A elder must be appointed. That's right. And ordained. That's right. Like Titus was. That's right. Like Timothy was. Amen. By an apostle. That's right. All right, let's go to work in the first chapter of Titus. In Titus chapter 1, and we'll start at verse 1. Yeah, man, any elder, I don't care who he is, where he come from, say God called him and God sent him direct, direct. or says he got an apostle 
and Paul is that apostle, or Paul ordained them, <laughs> that's a blasphemous lie. That's right. A dead man knoweth nothing. That's right. That's right. Peter ain't ordaining nobody now. No. No way. Paul ain't ordaining nobody now. No. James ain't ordaining nobody now. That's right. That's just a right, an unrighteous, arrogant self lie. That's it. Paul is not reaching from the grave, ordaining nobody. <laughs> nobody. You brothers that are back there, them sisters that are coming in, you let them get the young brothers out. They see quickly now. Just get the young brothers out. They see and let the sisters get uh, get seated right away. Amen. All right, let's go to work. Titus chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. Come on, follow me. Paul, a servant of God. I want everybody to hear. I want to show you how God's churches ran. That's it. God's churches ran. That's right. By this insurance policy. That's it. It's order. Order. To God's church. That's right. Wonderful. So when the elder said, God called and sent me. I'm going to make you go to the Bible. That's it. Where there's just one elder yeah. that said God called and sent him. Yes. yes and you will be searching that scripture all your life and never find it. That's right. Well, Apollos was an elder. How can Apollos be an elder only knowing the baptism of John? John? That's it. If that's all you know as an elder, sit down. That's right. You need help from a husband and a wife. That's it. To show you the more excellent, the more excellent way? way? No. No. I we never said Apollos was a apostle or was an elder. Was an elder. He was mighty in the scriptures. Only knew John's baptism. That's it. In other words, what he knew was an outdated truth. That's right. That's right. It was an outdated truth. That's right. Because by the time Apollos came along, John baptism expired. Oh yeah. While it John was here, it was truth. After Jesus come, right. outdated truth. Outdated. I don't need John baptism now. That's right. I need the one that come after John. That's it. That's mightier than John. Yes. We're going to baptize him with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. With fire. Amen. Amen. Let's see how the church from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. The Bible church how it's set up. Titus chapter 1, we're at verse 1. Follow me. Paul, a servant of God. Paul, a servant of God. And an apostle of Jesus Christ. Do you hear this? Amen. Apostle Paul is not all dead. Here, 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 viewers. Here, here, the old troublemaker. Yeah. I want to use a Bible Brillo pad on you today. <laughs> That's right. I don't want no dish rag. It's too <laughs> soft. It's too soft. Got so much false teaching in you. Amen. When that woman cook and fry that chicken, thank God. And sometimes that grease get hard on there. She know a dish rag don't do it. That's right. She got to get that Brillo pad and add some elbow grease, some friction there. Amen. The That's world right. is full of false teaching, false concepts. And the ignorant people who don't know the Bible are gullible to eat up anything and everything that seem right. Yeah. The Bible said there's a way that seem right unto man. And the end thereof are the ways of death. Ways of and death. when you get a lot of young men who got the preacher itch. That's it. They broke out with preacher writers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What are the symptoms of preacher writers? They can't even get down and pray without trying to preach on their knees. Yeah. On their knees, quoting scripture. Oh, Father Lord, put the word in my mouth. Let me in my heart. Good Lord. <laughs> I'm about to die. That's right. That's right. When it's time for him to testify, he's up for about 20 minutes yeah. trying to quote scriptures. Oh, yeah. Preacher writers. Preacher writers. He need to be quarantined with Bible. <laughs> That's right. Because he got the itch. Amen. Shooting up at night with scripture. He's always in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Read the Bible, read the Bible, read the Bible so much. And then Satan infiltrate yeah. while, he's reading. while he's reading. And when the devil infiltrated, because he haven't learned God yet, 
The devil give them revelation that he blames on God. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. Listen. Romans chapter 10 and at verse 2. I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. And when you got blind leadership, they let anything in the pulpit to preach. And what the preacher will say, if the Lord using you, go ahead. Wait. 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 If the Lord using you. If. If. How do you know it's the Lord using you or Satan urging you or your personal feeling? That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Pastor Jennings, I dreamed I was in a pulpit. All right. I dreamed I can fly. <laughs> I haven't been able to accomplish that yet. Amen. The written dreams come through the multitude of business. Of business. This place up here yeah. is the most dangerous place in the world. That's right. Because you're going to give an account to God for everything that come out of your mouth. That's right. How many scriptures you quote while you're up here don't mean nothing if you can't explain two of them. Amen. How long you get up there and hold people for one to two and three hours don't mean nothing if you can't make the first verse plain. That's right. The world need a teacher. Amen. And God has set a certain form to govern his church. One man told me, he, when he told me there are no apostles, now I, I said, well, the Bible said they first. He said, that's true. But there are none now. So I asked him who's first. He said, if the bishop is first, I said, I'll tell you what you do. I got Bible where the Lord says he put them first in the church. You show me where God says he took them out of the church and replaced them with the bishops first. That's right. He said, now, Pastor Jennings, now you're getting ridiculous. I said, well, if you believe it, if you believe it, then you have to show me your ridiculous belief. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's it. Everybody. That's right. Thank God we're making a Bible call to the world. Amen. Come on back. Amen. Oh, you fellows in Africa that's yelling, you apostles, women preachers, preachers. two and three wives, and all of that trash, that's raping right. women, and you claim you're an apostle. My Lord. You are pervert. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Did you hear this? Paul, back in Titus chapter 1 and verse 1. All you that are watching that have a preacher mm. that says there are no apostles now, you have a Satanist. That's a Satanist. Whether he's black, white, brown, or red, if right. he came from heaven, he's a liar when he get here. That's a liar. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. I said if your preacher came from heaven, and say there are no apostles now. He's a liar. He's a liar. Because what I'm preaching ties heaven down. That's right. And ties the earth down. But the we. Do you hear the apostle Paul? In Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8. The we. Or an angel from heaven. What? But the we or an angel oh, from heaven. Oh, take off. Amen. Or an angel from, from heaven. heaven. You know, preach. Can, not only can I read this, I can say this. That's right. God, I can say this and stand flat for the, to the world. That's right. Though we are an angel from heaven, from heaven, preach any other gospel unto any you. Any other gospel, any other, any, any other. other, any other gospel oh, it's unto not you. not another. That's right. Any other. I don't care what, what you come and how many tongues you speak in or how much you shake. I don't put that no mind. That's right. If you've got another gospel that contradicts what the apostles brought, what is it? Then that which we have preached unto you let him be accursed. He got the angels. As, now, now let's get men on earth. As we said before. And I said before, so sad now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto who? you. If any who? man. Any man. Your daddy. Any man. Your grandpappy. If any man. Your husband. Any man. Your pastor. Any man. Your bishop. Any man. Your elder. Any man. Your half pipe evangelist. Any man. Your tiny Tim Deacon. Any man. That's right. Your queer bishop. Any man. Your bigot apostle. Any man. 
That's Did right. you hear this? If any man preach. The Hollywood celebrity. Any man. Wonderful. Brother. The mega preachers. Any man. Not an apostle because you got a crowd. That's right. Pope got a crowd. That's right. That's true. When you are an ambassador, your job is to represent God in every manner of scripture. That's right. That's right. If any man do what? If any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. All right. For let's, do what? Let's go back. Back in Titus chapter 1 and verse 1. I want to show you how the church is set up. That's right. And how the ministry is set up. That's it. This is Bible. Never mind Geno Jennings. No. Forget Geno Jennings. Forget him. Amen. You want to forget him, so it shouldn't be hard for you to cooperate. <laughs> forget. Right. That's right. Forget Geno Jennings. That shouldn't be hard for you. You can't stand him. No way. That's right. That's right. Hear me good. Titus chapter 1 and verse 1. Hear this. Paul, a servant of God. Paul, a servant of God. And an apostle of Jesus Christ. I was Christ. made an apostle, and I can tell you gladly how I was made. Right. I heard God's voice. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I heard God's voice. I didn't stutter. No. The I am that I am. I heard him. Amen. The one that appeared to Moses. Mm. I heard him. <laughs> That's right. Wonderful. The one that was in the body of the Son of God. Wonderful. I heard him. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. I have appeared unto thee this day. That's right. Told me the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Same thing that he told the apostle Paul. He said it to me. But rise and stand upon thy feet. Rise up. Amen. Stand on thine feet. For I have appeared I have unto, appeared thee, unto thee, thee for this purpose. To make thee a minister. And a witness. And a witness. Both of these things which thou hast seen. Which you have seen. And of those things into which I will appear unto thee. And what did he do? Delivering thee from the people. That's what he did to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He delivered me from the people. And from the gen right out of falsehood. That's right. Hallelujah. Mm. Open up my understanding. Line upon line, precept upon precept. That's right. He gave me understanding here a little and there a little. That's right. Didn't do it all at once no. because his knowledge was too great to grasp. Oh, yes. At one time. So he did it line upon line, precept upon precept, revelation here a little, yeah. revelation there a little. That's right. Here a little represent Old Testament. There a little represent New Testament because you need here in order to go there because you got to make here and there harmonize. Wonderful, wonderful. Hallelujah. You got to make here and there harmonize. That's right. Glory to God, when you get here, you get the prophets. When you get there, you get the apostles. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Wonderful, brother. Listen at this. Back in Titus chapter 1 and verse 1. Let's get how the church is built the order of the church. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ. Yes. According to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness. When you're after godliness, after godliness. you're going to acknowledge the truth. Yes, you will. Even the truth that hurts you. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. If it hurts you, because it's the truth. Oh, yes. You will acknowledge. You will acknowledge it. And ask God to help you come up to the truth that hurts you. That's right. Listen. And the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. Amen. In hope of eternal life. In hope of eternal life which God that cannot lie. Promised before the world began. But how do he get his word over? But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. What? Hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. You hear these men claim they God called and God sent. Yeah. But you know what you don't see upon them? Amen. The, anointing the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Some of these old time bishops who's dead, some of them fellas had an anointing. Oh, yeah. But today, oh, yes. Many of these men that's trying to convince people God called them. Yeah. God sent them. Yeah. They yell, they scream, but there's no. Anointing. No anointing. It's no power. That's right. When I was a child, we took tin cans and kicked them down the street. That's right. Or we crushed them and put them on our hill. Yeah. 
It's noise. Noise. A man that claimed God sent him. Yeah. But has no anointing. Oh, yeah. He is not like Jesus. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Jesus said. The spirit of the Lord. St. Luke chapter 4 and verse 18. The spirit of the, the Lord. Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of the Lord. Is upon me. For what reason? Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. If you don't have your anointing. Hallelujah. You can't preach. No. No, no. You can quote scripture. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can dance around the scripture. That's right. But if you have no God sent anointing, that's it. Or it's a God you can't preach. That's right. That's right. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. The same spirit that's upon the preacher is the same spirit that draws the people to the preacher. That's right. That's right. What do you think draw God's sheep? Oh, yes. My sheep. That's it. Well, hear my voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my voice. You out there, you got strangers. That's right. That you shouldn't follow. That's right. A stranger have no anointing. That's right. A stranger have no power. Amen. Yet he can baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And talk about the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Do you know Jesus has preached That's right. more than one way? More than one way. That's right. Someone said, but you just said you can't preach unless you have the anointing. That's true. That's right. But Jesus has preached with power yes. and without. In the book of Philippians chapter 1. Let me show you in the Bible. Philippians chapter 1. We'll start reading in verse 16. What is it? The one preached Christ of contention. The one preached Christ of contention. Not sincerely. Don't mean what they're doing. Supposing to add affliction to my Supposing bonds. Supposing to add affliction to my bonds. But the other of love. The other preach out of love. Knowing that I am set for the defense knowing of the gospel. I am set to defend what's written. What? Then, what then, notwithstanding, listen, give chapter and verse again. And now, in the book of Philippians, chapter 1, we're at verse 18. Now pay attention. What, what then, notwithstanding, notwithstanding, every way, are you listening to the old man? Amen. How is it? Every way, every way, whether in pretense, whether in pretending, or in Call it. Pretense. Whether in what? Whether in pretense. Whether in faking. That's it. Whether in pretending. That's it. Whether it's not meant. Right. That's right. A lot of these men is not preaching the Savior. That's right. They just go in different places so they can say, I've been there. What good is going there what good? and no soul is connected with God? Amen. What, what then? What then, notwithstanding? Notwithstanding. Every way. Glory to God. Every way. Every way. Whether in pretense. Whether in pretending, whether in faking. Or in truth. Or in truth. Christ is preached. Amen. Christ is, is preached. Is preached. He's preached the wrong way. Yep. He's preached the right way. That's right. Now when it's done right. You have what Jesus had. Yeah. Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord. Verse, back in St. Luke chapter 4 and verse 18. Now, hear me, good. The Spirit of now, the Lord. You out there, you yeah. out there, you out there, you would say, Well, Pastor Dennis, you preach Jesus Christ as God. Does God anoint himself? No. No. God is the anointing. Yeah. The Son of God was anointed. That's it. That's it. Bible says Jesus of Nazareth was filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. God wasn't filled with the Holy Ghost. No. God is the Holy Ghost. That's right. The body of flesh and blood was the Son of God that was filled with the Holy Ghost because his body was the temple. That's right. And his body to represent our temple of the church. Yes. Are you getting me? That's right. So when they said what? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Spirit. Amen. Of the Lord is upon me for what reason because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor what is the results when you have the anointing he has sent me to heal the broken heart amen holy ghost results that's right holy ghost results holy ghost results Healing take place. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Heal the broken heart. To preach deliverance to the captives. Preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at all these people. Amen. 
preach deliverance. We, we was all captured. That's right. In something. That's right. Wait, God, but the gospel came. That's it. Unlocked the doors and got us off drugs and Hallelujah. got us off alcohol. Hallelujah. Got us from the Baptist. Got us from the Methodist. That's right. Got us from the Catholic. That's it. Got us from the Muslim. That's it. Got us from the Mormon. Got us off the streets of America. Preach deliverance to the captives. Hallelujah. 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 Preach what? Preach deliverance to the captives. Hallelujah. How can you men travel? Hallelujah. And nobody, nobody. is being delivered That's by right. no preaching. That's right. Hallelujah. For Jesus Hallelujah. to be preached right. Right. You got to have an anointing. That's right. Go and take off. That's right. Got to have an anointing. Without that anointing, That's right. the word is falling in vain. In vain. Hallelujah. The Hallelujah. anointing brings the function of the Holy Ghost. That's right. This is how the Holy Ghost functions. That's it. He says what? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he That's, has anointed me. It's upon me. That's right. So you fellas out there who don't have the Holy Ghost right then, that means you're no preacher. No preacher. You're not a preacher. That's right. You don't believe in speaking in tongues, you no preacher. Not a preacher. That's you just right. call the scripture. It's called parrotism. <laughs> That's right. A parrot don't need anointing. <laughs> no. To quote. No. Uh, Acts 2 38. Uh, repent. Uh, repent. Be baptized. Be baptized. Be baptized. Be baptized. Uh, be baptized. That's right. Hey, hey, Polly, Polly, Polly. <laughs> what is repentance? Uh, repent. That's right. Hey, Polly, explain Jesus Christ as God. Uh, I don't know. That's right. I, I don't know. Polly need a cracker. Pastor. Polly need a cracker. Amen. Polly Amen. needs some Bible. That's right. Polly need an anointing. That's right. That's right. In the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The pulpit Hallelujah. of America and the world yeah. are dead. Yes, they are. That's right. You're Hallelujah. dead. Dead. That's right. That's why you need organs playing behind you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. No anointing. No anointing. No. Hallelujah. You need to rile the people up to psych them up. That's and it. psych them out. That's right. No anointing. No anointing. That's right. You need church antics where people come and throw their handkerchiefs at the preacher. Yeah. No anointing. Amen. You need some nut to get up and run around the church. Like in the Indiana 500. That's right. No anointing. No anointing. That's right. You need some preacher to take the microphone and just shake it. Ah, ah, ah. And then he do something. <laughs> That's right. Like he's the machine gun. That's right. To excite the people. Amen. No anointing. No anointing. Why you think the only move Jace can make yeah. to get these people excited is... That's right. Go ahead. No anointing. No anointing. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. The pulpits Go ahead. are dead. That's right. The people in the church are not only dead, they are dying. Dying. Hallelujah. What starts to kill the church? Yeah. The mixture of Satan yeah. with God. That's right. It starts to kill yeah. the spiritualism of church. Yeah. The mixture of Satan and God. That's right. Now, let me make an example. If my brother here, come here, Carlos. I would think about you literally a week ago. <laughs> so I was surprised to see you, and I'm glad to see you. Amen. If my brother, and this is what many of you preachers do, if my brother is a Trinitarian, not that he is, I'm making an example. Yeah. Believe there's three persons in the Godhead. This is where you so-called 
believers mix Satan with scripture. That's right. When the bishop's church anniversary comes, bishops say, I don't believe in Trinity. But if this brother got a good size following and the secretary asked him to be a guest preacher yeah. for the bishop's anniversary, right. right then, bishop don't care that him and bishop don't believe the same thing. That's right. All bishop looking at this man got about 300 people yeah. and he going to bring a good offering oh, to yeah. my anniversary. So for that time, I'm willing to put on hold our differences. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So the next night, come here, Minister Williams. Another bishop come who believe in women preachers. And your bishop claims God never called and send a women preacher to gospel, which is true. But here's Bishop Williams got a congregation of 400. The church of lovely people. Amen. <laughs> That's the name of his church. The church <laughs> of lovely people. That's right. Now, him and Bishop Voodoo don't agree. Uh-huh. But if this man got a crowd of 400, yeah. Voodoo is willing to turn his back. That's right. On the fact he got women preachers That's right. and let them in his pulpit because that 400 gonna bring a big offering. Amen. Are you listening? Yeah. This is how cancer step in the church and you know what Bishop is doing? He's building up everything that he destroyed Destroy. which make your pastor a transgressor. transgressor. And then after each preacher leaves that he know ain't preaching the truth. Yeah. He get that money. Oh, and you yeah. know what he do after he get that meat, the money? Talk about it. That's right. He said, church, we don't believe in the preachers. Mm -hmm. But, but sometimes you just got to overlook the differences. That's right. Tell God that he'll go into some tongue. Mm. I'm going to buy a Chevy. <laughs> Amen. Amen. What you men will do. Yeah. Bible speaks plain. That's right. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, right. that you all speak the same thing. The same the thing. The same thing. All. all. Let, me, let me make a very detailed example. All you men that are standing around the walls, you that's on this side, come on around to the front. And you that's on that side, come to the front. Come on, brothers, move quick. Come on, march around here. All of you, march around here and form a line from that door to that door. Yes. Just form a line. Come on, man, come on. <laughs> form a line all the way to that door, to that door. If you got to make two rows or three rows. Yes. Two rows or three rows. Amen. Do y'all see our soldiers? Amen. Come on. Come on, come on. Two Amen. rows or three rows? Amen. Amen. One row or two rows? Come on. Line them up. Line them up. Some of these are brothers, some of these are visitors, but line them up. Line them up. Line them up. All right, let them all cram, the rest cram right there. Amen. Now, if all of this army mm -hmm. was ministers, mm -hmm. you mean 1 Corinthians 1.10? 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Listen at this. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That what? That ye all speak the same thing. I don't care how large the ministerial staff is. Right. There's an order. That's right. That hangs over the church. That ye all speak the same thing. Speak something different. Speak the same thing. No, this brother got a revelation. And this brother got another revelation. That ye all speak the same thing. What is the reason that all of these brothers got to speak the same thing? And that there be no divisions among you. You see, if you don't speak the same thing, you go out with something different. Yeah. You go out with something different. You know what's going to happen? You're going to start telling one branch church one thing. That's right. Then that whole church going to have another belief. That's right. 
another brother going to tell one of the churches some other revelation, yeah. they're going to have another belief. Amen. And then he's going to call other brothers and share his revelation. That's right. And then they're going to believe that lie. Right. He's going to call other brothers and spread his revelation. And they're going to believe that lie. That's right. The order of the church. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord the Jesus Christ. put order in the church. That's right. That's right. There is no revelation. No. That's allowed to contradict what the apostles had. Amen. Amen. I don't care if a man shake while he's telling it. Yeah. Scream while he's telling it. Jaywalk while he's telling it. That's right. Slide like James Brown. Chuck like Joe Tex. Amen. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. When the Bible talks, that's it. It puts everybody in order and your anointing. That's right. Ain't higher than that Bible. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Listen at the law. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That ye all speak the same thing. And God says why? And that there be no divisions among you. And what reason? But that ye be perfectly joined together. Wait a minute. How well? Perfectly joined together. How well? Perfectly joined together. What kind of mind all these men got to have? In the same mind. Wait. My Lord. What kind of mind? In the same mind. What kind of mind, brothers? Same what kind of mind? Same mind. What else, Williams? And in the same judgment. You've got to look at the scriptures and understand it alike. That's it. Same judgment. And what else? For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, that what? by them which are of the house of Chloe, uh -huh. that there are contentions among you. There should not be no contention. That's right. Among one minister. That's right. Who's being taught the same thing. Same thing. All right, brothers. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Hallelujah. It's wonderful. What did he say, Williams? Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What's the result? That you all speak the same thing. This ain't changed. No. This is what has ruined. And this is why a lot of preachers, churches, yeah. are so messed up now. That's right. They let any man in the poor yeah. pit say anything. That's it. And then the elder later on straighten it out, That's or the bishop straighten it out later. No. 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 The Bible's against divorce. Nobody bringing it in here. That's right. Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Nobody is bringing more than one in here. That's right. The Bible says. All that believe work together, work together. It ain't gonna be no white teaching, no black teaching. It's just God's teaching. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is how cancer, yeah. spiritual cancer. Yeah. All of us came out of some type of church or just off the street. That's right. But some of us came from churches where the old bishop was pretty strict. Mm -hmm. the moment he died, the church became unrecognizable. That's right. Everything he tore down, yeah. his son or his nephew or his uncle or his best friend built it back up. That's right. Where head covering is doctrine. Yeah. Some newcomer come along. Newcomer. You ain't got to cover your head. That's right. We're speaking in tongue is doctrine. Yeah. Some newcomer come along. Yes. Don't you worry about speaking. You can receive the Holy Ghost without it. That's right. That's Where right. no woman preaches is doctrine. Yeah. The first victim to his falsehood is his wife. Now she's the evangelist. She's been That's promoted right. from first lady to first evangelist. That's right. And everything you used to say amen against, right. now you become so weak, yeah. now you say amen too. Amen. Yeah. That's right. You out there that been taught Jesus Christ is God, yeah. almighty. Mm -hmm. And you've been taught it. And now you denounce it. Denounce it. You have blasphemed the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. 
Did you hear me? Amen. Anytime you blaspheme the Holy Ghost, you cannot be forgiven in this life nor life to, life to come when you've done it willingly after you've been properly informed. That's right. Any preacher, Any preacher that was taught Jesus Christ is God Almighty because Jesus said himself he was. That's right. In Revelation 1, 7 and 1, 8. Follow me in your Bible. Revelation chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. Jesus said what? The holy cometh with clouds. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Who's coming? He cometh with clouds. Who's coming in the clouds? Jesus said. Jesus. He's come with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see them. Him. You're just looking for them. You're going to be sadly disappointed. That's right. Every eye shall see him. Hear me good. Hear me good. Hear me good. Shall see him. And they also which pierced him. They which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Everything points to him. 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 That's right. What, what did the him say? I am Alpha. And don't hey, hey, Come on. Say that's John. John ain't no Alpha. <laughs> no. I am. John is writing the words. In fact, this is the revelation of Jesus Christ that came to John. That's right. Revelation 1 1 says what? The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. That's it. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ that God gave to John. Gave unto him. And what did that revelation say in verse 8? I am Alpha. Glory to God. Amen. I'm Alpha. And Omega. And Omega. Go the beginning. The beginning and the ending. Who said it? Saith the Lord. Who said it? Saith the Lord. Who said it? Saith the Lord. Hold on. Acts 9 5. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, Glory to God, and the Lord said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. I am Jesus. Jesus is coming with clouds. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. Glory to God. I am Alpha. And Omega. And Omega. The beginning. The beginning. And the ending. Who said it? Saith the Lord. Saith Jesus. That's that's it. Which is. Which is. And which was. And was. And which is to come. Who did Jesus say he is? The Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Anytime you've been taught Jesus Christ is God Almighty. Is God. And then you denounce it. That's right. You have blasphemed God. That's right. And you cannot be forgiven. That's right. In this life, nor the life to come. But the blessing. Your followers that was taught the Hallelujah. same thing, like people, like like priests, priests. like people, like, like priests. priests. That's right. If the blind lead the blind. Both. They both are falling into the hell. pit. If your pastor blasphemed. And the members believe it. Hallelujah. They are students of a blasphemer. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Your pastor can't be saved. No. Your bishop can't be saved. Oh, no. No elder can't be saved. That's right. Do you hear this? Ba Matthew chapter 12 and at verse 31. Says what? Wherefore I say unto you. I say to you. All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But the blasphemy. Against the Holy Ghost, the blaspheme of the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven it unto men. And whosoever speaketh the word against the, the man, against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against I the Holy Ghost, say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Jenner. you blaspheme. You said Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. You don't get what I'm talking. No, I preach there is no Son of God in heaven now right. with the flesh and blood body that's right like he was when he was born in bethlehem that's of it. judea that's it that's what there you is no son of god that's right in heaven now right with the body of flesh and blood that's right like he was born in bethlehem that's it. of judea that's it that glorified body that's right that rose is still a call the son of god that's right go ahead hallelujah hallelujah there is no son of god yeah. in heaven now now with the flesh right and blood that's right body like he was born that's right the glorified body that, that exists now right is still called that's right son of god and to wait for his son hallelujah that's 
right. Wonderful. You Catholics, you Protestants, yeah. you Presbyterians, you so-called apostolics that are preaching. Right. There's a son of God in heaven now with flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. You have blasphemed, blasphemed against the son of man. That's right. Because Paul said, behold, I show you a mystery. Listen, we shall not all sleep. We shall not all sleep. But we shall be changed. We shall be. Give me the 15 chapter quick side. First Corinthians chapter 15 and that verse. Uh, he says flesh and blood. Now this I say, brethren. Listen. First Corinthians 15 and verse 50. This I said. That flesh and blood. Can what? Cannot. Cannot. Inherit the kingdom of God. You cannot. Cannot. You cannot. Someone said with God. All things are possible. Holy. That's yes and no. Yeah. Someone said what? <laughs> With God, all things are possible. Yes and no. Yes and no. Name one thing God can't do. He can't lie. Cannot lie. Yes. Cannot lie. Yes. Name another thing. He can't fail. That's right. Name another thing. He, can he can't not. break the scriptures. That's right. Name another thing. He can't backslide. That's right. That's right. God said, not a scripture shall be broken. He cannot he come to fulfill it. That's it. He didn't come to break it. That's right. And in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 13. The chapter and verse again. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 13. What is it? If we believe not. If we believe not. That he abideth faithful. That he abide faithful. He cannot deny himself. He is another thing he can't do. That's right. He can't deny himself. That's it. God won't even deny himself. Himself. In other words, whatever he wants, he got to have it. That's it. <laughs> I won't deprive myself of what I want. That's right. I want some Asian people Amen. to come in the church. Oh, yes. I send the gospel there to bring that nation in. That's, that's right. I want some Hispanic brothers to come in my church. That's right. I got to have it. Got to have Hallelujah. it. I send the gospel there. That's right. And bring them in. Why? He cannot deny himself. I won't deny myself. That's right. I get pleasure Amen. out of seeing water. That's right. Give me glory. Oh, yes. So I separate it. Amen. So man can marvel on it. That's right. He do what? He cannot deny himself. He can't deny himself. That's right. He felt as though he wanted to take a ride. The yeah. Bible said he ride on the wings of the wind. That's right. And walk among the curses of heaven. That's right. He can what? He cannot deny himself. So when these preachers tell you loosely, loosely. God can do anything yeah. that's truth and lie. That's right. God can't lie. No. Impossible. Can't deny himself. Can't deny himself. He don't compromise. That's right. He don't fail. That's it. He's a master in fulfilling all his work. That's it. That's right. So know what you're talking. That's it. Besides throwing it out loosely, God can do anything. I can show you things that God can't do, not, won't do, because won't. he's too perfect to do. That's right. God is not mocked. Oh, no. Go Are ahead. you kidding me? Go ahead. Makes you think, don't it? Oh, yes. Deeper than you ever thought before. That's right. All right, go back to where you were. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 50. All right. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. If the Bible said it can't, it can't. It cannot. It cannot. God ain't changing it. That's right. That's the order. Of his insurance policy. That's right. The reason why he did it like that, so your flesh can't go in. Right. Don't you know if he lied? Well, Jesus' flesh and blood was perfect. That's right, but it still was mortal. That's right. Blood is not made for heaven. No. Blood is made for earth. earth. For what reason, Pastor Janet? Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse, verse 7. Verse 7. That's what? In whom we have redemption. What? In whom we have redemption. So what? Through his blood. What is blood for? The forgiveness of sins. What is blood for? Redemption through his blood. And what? And the forgiveness of sins. Who in heaven need to be redeemed. Right. And who in heaven need to be forgiven. That's right. 
What about the angels, Pastor Genesis? We gonna judge them. That's right. Well, where are the angels at that fell? Give me Jude. Jude. And chapter oh, one. after you get Jude, let's get where the church is gonna judge them. That's right. Real quick. Jude chapter one, and we're at verse six. And the angels which kept not their yeah, the first angels, estate. That backslid, they're not being judged yet. That's right. They're waiting on the church. That's right. Not even God judged them yet. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. God didn't judge the angels that backslid yet. No. They're waiting right. on the church. That's right. Come on, son. And the angels which kept not their first estate. By the way. But left their own habitation. They left their own habitation. He has reserved. Wait a minute. Amen. He has reserved. He has reserved. How, where? In everlasting Wait, chains. How long are these chains? Everlasting chains. How long are they reserved? Everlasting chains. Where? Under darkness. For what? Unto the judgment of the great day. So the angels that was cast out of heaven, they ain't roaming the earth. No. They're not free. No. They're not in nobody. And they ain't dealing with nobody. That's right. The Bible speaks plain where he, they are. He has reserved an everlasting chain. He has reserved them. In everlasting chain. What? On the darkness. Unto the they judgment. They got to be there until what time? Unto the judgment of the great day. That's plain. That's plain. And that great day ain't here yet. No. All right. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 3. Let's see who the church going to judge. Chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and I'm at verse 3. Come on. Know ye not. Do you know this? That we shall, that we, shall, church. shall judge angels. Amen. Do you hear it? Know ye not? Do you even know this? That we shall judge angels? You can't judge yourselves. That's right. How would you be able to judge spirits? Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? In 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Why do you think that Jesus taught us, judge yourselves? That's right. That you be not judged. That's right. How do we judge ourselves, Pastor Jennings? When you hear the word of God preach, sit in judgment upon yourself. Don't think, oh, wow, this message is talking about somebody I know. Just look at you. <laughs> That's right. I know someone that's in that. Don't you worry about who's in it. Make sure you ain't. That's right. Well, they need to get out of it. Then you need to get out of what you're in. Amen. In other words, get the mode out your eye. Then you'll be able to help somebody else. That's right. That's right. Do you hear it? First Corinthians chapter 6 and read verse 2. What is it? Do you not know that the saints... Do you not know that, that the, the saints, saints shall judge the world? Shall judge the world! And if the world shall be judged by you... Lord, the God of the world shall be judged by the church. Are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? You mean to tell me you can't rectify small matters? No, ye not. Do you not know... That we shall judge that angels? we shall judge angels how much more things how much more things that pertain to this life the angels mm. that we're going to judge are those that's right that was put out who took sides with lucifer who thought he can be like god <laughs> that's right that spirit of lucifer that was put out came to the earth and is in the pulpit today it's an exalted spirit that's right. it's a self-righteous spirit where man exalts himself and love praise. Right. He loved praise more than he loved God. That's right. That's right. That's why when people get up and testify, and the first thing they say, I thank God for Pastor Jesus, I tell them, no, 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 no. Uh, nope. You better recognize your Lord Jesus Christ first. That's right. Because that's God. That's right. You don't even recognize me after that. You recognize the former prophets and the apostles. Why? They had this before we come along. That's right. You recognize God first. You recognize the apostles and prophets afterward. Then you pick us up. That's and it. then the body of Christ. Right. That's right. Order. Order. Are you getting me? Amen. Amen. Some folk be so happy, Pastor Jennings. If it wasn't from you, I wouldn't know the truth. No, if it wasn't from God, you wouldn't know the truth. That's right. I'm just used of God so you can know the truth. Amen. Always give God the credit. That's Amen. another thing that's a contributing factor to the success of the church. We always give God the credit. That's right. Always. That's right. That's Glory right. to God. That's it. Amen. All right, let's go back to Titus. I ain't finished yet. 
Back in Titus chapter 1, still in verse 1. I want to get the would-be preachers. That's what the old preachers used to call them. <laughs> would-be's. The, the would Jack legs. That's right. Uh -huh. Paul, a servant of, Paul, God, servant of God and an apostle, apostle of, Jesus of Christ, Jesus Christ. According to the faith of God's elect. What? And the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. If you're after what's right, you will acknowledge what's right. That's right. If you're after what's right, you will acknowledge what's right. And the acknowledging of the truth. When you acknowledge it, what are you after? Which is after godliness. Oh, I'm so glad that God gave us a gospel. Amen. That we literally can go anywhere in Amen. the world anywhere. and exalt God. That's right. Amen. Exalt God. That's it. And then watch God fulfill his word. That's right. Everywhere. everywhere. Amen. Men would do anything. They would pay anything. To be able to go everywhere and see something like this. That's true. But they can't. That's true. They can't. No. Oh, I, and the thing about it, God showed me this. <laughs> yes, he did. Next year, I've been pastoring. I've been pastoring next year for 40 years. Mm. 40 Wonderful. years. 40 years. Wonderful. Leading God people for 40 years. Amen. 40 years. That's wonderful. Leading God's people. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. It's wonderful, brother. Next year, I would have been preaching for 47 years. Mm. Preaching that long. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's wonderful, brother. Amen. When I look at all these souls, this is just a drop in the bucket. Oh, yes. For what God, hallelujah. But what God is doing for the church. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's why the truth of God is, is, is the most hated, jealous of, and talked about holding this church on social media. Yeah. If people even hear you in this, you're in a cult. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You can hear them on social media. They praise Pastor Jennings more than they praise Jesus. <laughs> no, they praise Jesus for Pastor Jennings. That's right. <laughs> They don't. They don't even like it when you thank God for me. No, but if don't. you thank God for Martin Luther King, they ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You thank God for Malcolm X, they ain't gonna say nothing. That's right. That's right. They won't say a word. If you get up and thank God for Louis Farrakhan, they ain't gonna say nothing. They say Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Mommy said, thank God for Pastor Jenner. What? 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 Yes. So do that for him. That's right. That's right, Pastor. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. <laughs> Why? Because the word is opening the eyes of thousands. That's right. God is doing it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. People all around the world is testifying of God's goodness, how he's opening their eyes. That's right. That's right. The word that God, men wish they had this. God gave them this kind of effect, but he had it. No. I can say that the apostle that God made choice among us. That's right. All right, come on now. Let's finish up Titus. Titus. Everybody all right? Amen. Follow me and get this good. I want to show you how the church is set up. Titus chapter 1, now we're at, at verse These 2. These men from outside, you know, they don't need nobody to ordain them. Paul ordained them or Peter ordained them. That's just a lie, just a lie. from the depths of hell. Dead men don't ordain. No. No. Dead men don't ordain. That's right. Because the Bible said the dead knoweth what? Nothing. 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 That's right. Hear me good? Titus chapter 1, now we're at verse 2. How can people even believe such farce? <laughs> That's a Such farce. folly. That's folly. That's right. Such foolishness. Oh, yeah. That's, that's beyond trick. You <laughs> think a dead man actually ordained someone to be a preacher? When did you feel Paul's hands? <laughs> that's right. Think of it. When did you feel Paul touch you? Lord. What was Paul ethnic group? What did he look like? What did he look like? How old is his height? Did he have 
flesh? Mm. What was his haircut? Was his hair How long? Cut? How long? That's right. What did he say? That's right. What did his voice sound like? Did he have a beard? Did he have a mustache? What color was his eyes? What position was he standing when he all laid hands on you? Was he on your side? Was he on your back? With both hands on his shoulders. That's right. Did he look at you? That's right. You Uncle Ruckus liars. <laughs> That's one of them Uncle Ruckus liars. That's right. Are you getting the old man? Amen. Any of you preachers said that any of the apostles that walk with Jesus ordained you, you just blasphemed on the Bible and told an open public lie. That's it. See, when you start lying and go so far out in there, you get so far until you can't even come back. You can't come back. Because your pride won't let you come back. That's right. So you just drift. You just drift out there. That's right. And then dumb people. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul, all day. That was pastor. Oh, Paul, Paul. You met Paul? Uh, no. Was you there at the ordination? These are questions I want to ask you, brothers and sisters that are watching. Were you there at the ordination? What time was it? What did Paul have on? That's right. Was he dressed like the Romans? Amen. Did he wear sandals? Mm. He was a Benjamite. What language did he speak? Because he was a Hebrew of the Hebrews. That's right. Did you understand his Jewish grammar? Yeah. <laughs> you dumb church going suckers yeah. you believe any trash that come from the pulpit and you say amen amen how can you be such a biblical derelict that's right that you are scripturally stupid enough to believe that a dead man came up and ordained your pastor my lord Look how dumb and how manipulated you became. Paul was a Hebrew. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> what did he sound? The very thought of it, that a dead man came in all danger. It sounds stupid. Sounds stupid. <laughs> what language did he speak? That's right. Because Jesus ain't never told his apostles, you're going to ordain anybody after you die. No. Jesus ain't never gave his apostles power to ordain anybody after, after. they are dead. <laughs> Jesus never, never gave his apostles power or command or charge to ordain anybody after you die. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and at verse 5. What did the Bible say? For the living know that they shall die. The living know that they shall that die. They shall die. But the dead. But the dead. Know not anything. Well how do he know how to ordain you? That's right. The dead. Know not anything. Amen. Jesus said I gave you power. To cast out devils. That's right. Lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. Shall recover. Raise the dead. Raise the dead. But he ain't say, I'm going to give you power to ordain anybody after you're dead. After you. That's right. Yep. That's that Uncle Ruckus belief. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So dedicated to the devil, you got that Uncle Ruckus belief. Uncle Ruckus. They love the devil. You know one thing, I think I was glad about the devil. <laughs> that devil's a very good friend of mine. It's that right. Uncle Ruckus believe. Uncle Ruckus. Me and the devil, we're sweet. We walk hand in hand. That's right. You got Uncle Ruckus for Uncle a pastor. Ruckus. Amen. You got Uncle Ruckus for a bishop. That's right. That's right. Think of it, viewers. Think of that. You out there, where the Jesus gave his apostles charge mm. or power. To ordain anybody after they are dead. After they're the dead. The apostles don't even know you. No. Neither have they any more a reward. Do you hear this? 
Still in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9 and verse 5. That's what? But the dead know not anything. The dead don't know nothing. Neither have they any more a reward. Any more don't have no reward. For the memory of them is forgotten. Amen. The memory of them is what? Is forgotten. Do people follow anything? That's why they hate Pastor Jennings. That's why. We kill false religion. That's right. We cremate it. Oh, yeah. With Bible. With the Bible. All right, let's come on back to Titus now because I'm ready to go. Back, back to Titus chapter 1 and verse 2. I had a good meal today, my first time here in Valdosa. And we went to this restaurant called uh, Mama June. <laughs> man, Mama June was putting it down too, brother. Amen. <laughs> God, man, I went in Mama June and I looked at the food. I was like, Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy, man. So happy. Because we went to another restaurant last night and oh Lord, it was a mess. <laughs> I went I, I went to bed still hungry. Amen. But thank God when I went into Mama June. <laughs> saw that fresh, no, no frozen collard greens, fresh collard fresh. greens. Fresh. That's right. Fresh string beans, fresh rutabagas, bakers, and fresh cornbread, all kind of meat. And, Sweet potatoes with cinnamon sprinkled on it. Glory <laughs> to God. I came back at my table and told Shane the Lord work <laughs> in mysterious ways. Hallelujah. Mama June. Mama June. <laughs> That's the way our gospel is. Oh, yes. Make you lick your fingers is so good. That's right. And that's right. What did he say? In hope of eternal this life. This is Titus, the first chapter. I want and to at show verse you two. the ingredients of a preacher, Valdosa. Valdosa, Amen. you come on out of your churches now. That's I right. don't care if they call it apostolic Pentecostal, God willing, we're going to set up a church, even a temporary place in Valdosa, to get you to come out of the trash you're in. Wonderful. Amen. 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 Already, you know, the way the work is now, I have to have my secretary the same time I come in the city. She have to find a place that we can temporarily use because we automatically got a congregation everywhere. Everywhere. And that's what we got to do now. That's right. Amen. So before I came down here, we already got it in the works to find a temporary place. So when I leave here, uh, the announcement can be made when the, when the service will start and where to have it so you can come out of your false churches. Amen. What is that? In Titus chapter 1, now we're at verse 2. What is it? In hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie. Wait a minute, that's another thing God can't do. Cannot lie. Which God that cannot lie. What? In hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie. You know, my God, man, it feels good preaching. Amen. It just, hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, it does. It, it's, just, it's just down in my sanctified soul. Amen. Amen. Which God that cannot not prompt before the world again. But has in due time manifested his, his word, word through preaching. How is God getting his word over? Through preaching. What? Which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. What is it? To Titus, mine own son, after the Where's common the faith. Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, set in the feet of Galilee, was taught according to the perfect man of the law. Mm -hmm. Galilee was a Pharisee, a doctor of the law. That's right. Amen. And listen to what the apostle Paul itemized here. To Titus, mine own son, He's after the common faith. Titus. His son in the gospel after the common faith. Grace, Grace mercy, mercy, and peace, and peace from, God the Father, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Now, when the Bible says from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior, that's not two there. No. That and is not a conjunction of two. That's right. God the Father means God is the Spirit and the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the name of the Spirit. That's right. All right. For this cause left I the increase. And the apostle is teaching the elder, mm -hmm. which is the bishop, where to go. He got authority to send him. That's right. He tell them where to go, but this, when to go, and how long to stay there, and what to do while he's there. That's right. Ain't no bishop to jump up. Well, the spirit moving. Now, come on back to the Bible. Amen. The apostle going to tell you what to do. For this cause left I the increase. I left you increase to do what? That thou should have set in order the things that are wanting. And he's giving them clear instructions. That's right. You're going to set things in order that are wanting. Whatever the people want to do, you set it in order. Set it in order. But if the apostles already lay rules, then don't you take matters in your own hands. That's right. But if people want to do something that contradicted, you set it in order. Set it in order. Set everything in order. That's right. Everything. Amen. Come on, son. That thou should have set in order the things that are wanting. And do what? And ordain elders in every city. Who? As I had appointed them. The elder is appointed to ordain other elders in every city by permission That's right. that he got. 
from the apostle. That's right. You yes, elders sir. just can't run off and ordain people. No. You got to get permission from the apostle. And ordain. So if there's no apostles now, where do you get the authority to ordain anybody from? That's right. You bunch of liars. That's right. That's right. I dare anybody, anybody tell me there's no apostles now. No apostles. And after that, give me the book of Corinthians where they run to where Paul said I'm not worthy to be an apostle right. because I'm the least the of the least. apostles. And then they skip the scripture that talk about the least of the saints. I want both. That's right. Remember, do you understand me? Yes. I want both. Yes. 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 Let me finish Titus 1 and verse 5. You finish Titus 1 and 5, Elder Williams. <laughs> For this cause left I be in Crete. Oh, this cause? Left I be in Crete. Oh, we're going to put Bible on creation. <laughs> That's right. Left I be in Crete. That thou shouldest set, set in order the things that are wanting. Set it in order. That's right. Things that are wanting and ordained elders in every city. As I had a What? As I. No, as God gave it to him. As I. As had God a, spoke to him. As I. This is Bible here. That's right. I'm not moving from it to please nobody. That's right. I'm not moving from it to keep nobody. And I ain't moving from it for nobody to come here. Amen. This Bible is the compass for the church. That's and what everybody got to submit to the Bible or everybody will right. go to hell. That's right. That's right. Get me, get me, get me, churches. For this cause left I thee in Crete. What? That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanted. And, and ordain elders in every city. As I had appointed thee. All right. Let's now, get the scripture they use that says Paul is the last apostle. Now the Let book, me show you how hell bound dumb they are. That's right. Listen and get this. Now in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we'll start at verse 8. Yes. And last of all, he was seen of me also. All right. This is Pastor Paul reflecting on uh, after Jesus rose. Go up to verse 6 real fast. Verse 6. Come on, son. After that, he was seen of above 500. Go to verse 5. At verse 5. All right. And that he was seen of Cephas. Go to verse 4. At verse 4. All right. And that he was buried and that he rose again. Go up to verse 3. At verse 3. Well, I delivered unto you, first of all. You, first of all, that which I also received. How that Christ died for our sins. According to the scriptures. And that he was buried. He was buried. And that he rose again the, he third, rose again day, the third day. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. And that he was seen of Cephas. Given a track record. Then of, was Peter. After he rose, Peter saw. Then of the twelve. Then the twelve saw. After that. After that. He was seen of above five hundred brethren at once. Five hundred brethren at once. Of whom the greater part remain unto this present. But what? But some have fallen asleep. Meaning some died. All right. After that. After that. He was seen of James. He was seen of James. Then of all the apostles. Then all the apostles saw. And last of all. What? And last of all. Last of all. He was seen of me also. What? As of one born out of due time. Now, they read that. They say, Pastor Jennings. Paul said, last of all, he was seen of me. Paul said, and last was, of wait, all, Paul said he was the last one that seen him. Paul didn't say that. No. no Paul no. didn't say he was the last one that seen him. No. And last of all, he was that, seen of me last also. Last of all simply means he was talking about out of those apostles that was living. That's and right. out of those groups right. that, that's it. that witnessed after he rose. That's it. Last of all, he was seen of me also. Now the question was, when did Paul see him? Because Paul wasn't there during the resurrection. No, he wasn't. So when did he see him? When did he see him? Paul wasn't there when he rose. That's right. But Paul said, last of all. Last of all, he was seen of me also. How? As of one born out of due time. I was born out in due time, but during the time he rose, I wasn't here. That's right. But I came in due time. That's right. But when did he see him? That's it. He wasn't there after he rose and appeared to his apostles? No. And he well, told Thomas, uh, thrust your hand on my side. Don't right. be thou faithless but believe. But Thomas said, my Lord and my God, Paul wasn't there. No, he wasn't. But he said, last of all. Last of all, Hallelujah. he was seen of when me When did he see him? <laughs> His son, when the light, blessed be the light. name of God, shine from heaven. Shine from heaven. Above the brightness of the sun. That's it. Paul said, I heard that excellent <laughs> voice. That's it. Who spoke from heaven, so, so. That's it. Why persecutest thou me? me? Who art thou, Lord? Yes. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. Oh, I'm Jesus. I am Jesus. That's when Paul saw him. That, and last of all, last of all, he was seen of me also. He wasn't the last one that saw him. No. As one what? As of one born out of due time. Then what? For I am the least of the apostles. So that Pastor Dennis, I still believe that means Paul the last one that saw him. All right. If that means that, then how is it when he come? It says, "Every eye, every eye shall see him." Shall see him. Every eye. 
Uh, you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> That's right. It says every eye. Every eye shall see him. Didn't they say so? Yeah. They right. got men and women and every, children. Every eye, every eye shall see him. So when he said, last of all, he was seen of me. And me he also. talked about after he rose. He, uh, he was the last among them brothers of the apostles that was walking the earth. Right. Not the ones that was with Jesus in the flesh, but that was walking the earth during the time. That's right. After his resurrection. That's it. Paul was God a pit unto Paul. Right. He wasn't even an apostle when he saw him. No. He was still a sinner. Still a sinner. On his way to do the devil's bidding. That's right. But God stopped the sinner. That's right. Are you getting me? And last of all, what? He was seen of me also. Yeah. As of one born out of due time. Eh? For I am the least. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now he didn't say he's the last. No. No. I am the Not least. only is he going to make this statement by the Holy Ghost. That's right. The Spirit going to give the explanation to the statement. That's right. You preachers didn't see this. That's right. Listen at this. First Corinthians 15 and we're at verse 9. What is it? For I am the least. I'm the least. Of the apostles. What does it mean? That I'm not meet to be called an apostle. Oh, I'm not. I, I, I'm not meet. I'm not worthy. To be called an apostle. What reason did he give for because he didn't feel worthy? Because I persecuted the church of God. He didn't right. say he was the last one. No. He said he was the least. The least. Meaning he didn't feel worthy. That's right. That's right. And the reason why he didn't feel worthy? Because he persecuted the persecuted. saints. Persecuted. That's right. Yeah. Now let's get the least of the saints. Now in the book of Ephesians chapter yeah, yeah, 3. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You out there that says that means Paul the last. Least don't mean last. You're infidel. <laughs> That's right. Let me enlarge on it. Enlarge on it. All right. Let's take it to the church. In the book of Ephesians chapter 3 and at verse 8. Get this. Unto me. Unto me, who am less, who am less than the least, than the least of all saints. I dare you to tell me he's the last saint. That's right. That's you right. Not tell me he's the last saint. That's right. That's right. You got least tied the saints, and you got least tied the apostles. The apostles. That simply mean I'm unworthy. That's it. That's it. One scripture talk about the least of his commandments. That's right. But it's not the last commandment. No. All of us in here are the least of God's saints. That's right. Because it ain't none of us worthy to no. be sitting here today. No way. No. Not no. one. Amen. All of us are the least. Oh, yes. Of God's church. That's right. That's what I mean by rightly dividing the scriptures. That's it. All right, let's go back to Titus real quick because I'm ready to go home. <laughs> back in Titus chapter 1 and right verse Man, 5. Let me catch up with Mama June. <laughs> 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 All right, son, come on. For this cause left I the entreat. Oh, this is, this is such a good lesson tonight. Yes, it is. I hope you can get this. Amen. Come on. For this cause left I the entreat. Yes. That thou should have said in order the things that are wanted. Now, I guarantee you're going to find some jackalers getting on social media because they're watching this. Oh, yeah. So they can hurry up and make some type of podcast or some type of message and whatnot to go fight this. That's right. They know how dumb they are to get Bible to fight by. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on, son. For this cause left I the increase. To do what? That thou should have said in order the things that are wanted. Yeah. And ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. We're going to keep holiness holy that's it we're gonna keep the church set up like god have it. god have it. all right if any be blameless all right elder this is your qualification here if any be blameless you out there making babies you go somewhere and sit down <laughs> that's right that's right you go somewhere and sit down and tighten the band to your drawers <laughs> amen get me if any be blameless you are racist you are bigot mm. You ain't fit to be no elder. No way. You a henpeck. That's right. You ain't fit to be no elder. That's right. You think it's your duty to chase down women booty. That's right. You ain't fit to be no elder. No way. You a faggot. Mm. You ain't fit to be no elder. That's right. You love money. Yes. You ain't fit to be no elder. That's right. Get me? If any be blameless. You's an alcoholic. That's right. You ain't fit to be no elder. No way. Hallelujah. Do you hear the Bible talking? If any that, be. That's why they don't like us. No, no. We going to keep it like the Bible. That's it. When you ain't preaching. When you're not preaching for money. 
and you're not preaching for popularity, yeah. you can keep holding this hope. Keep it holy. That's right. Yeah. That's so right. Hallelujah. Holy take off. You can keep it holy. Keep it holy. Come on, son. If any be blameless. If any be blameless. I think yeah. of one of our wonderful mothers, Mother Rose. Uh, I believe she goes to the Atlanta temple. Is Mother Rose here tonight? God bless your heart, mother. I think of one of my mother, Amen. Uh, Mother Rose. She gave uh, about 33 plus acres of land to the church. And and she said, and then we gave, we, she said, Pastor, I want to, uh, my children to have at least about five acres. I said, listen, I, you, your children can have all the acres they want. Hmm. She blessed the church with the land. I, I wasn't like most preachers. Wonderful. I wasn't like most preachers try to take all of it. I told her, I said, she said, I said, listen, you ain't got to ask me, can your children have five? I said, just take it. Yeah. But I said to say, like, Peter, wasn't it thine own? That's right. I, I wouldn't care if you said, Pastor, I want to give up my kids 32 acres and a half. And I want to give the <laughs> church a half acre. I ain't going to say nothing. That's right. Why? Because it's hers. It's hers. But she blessed the church. And my God, on one, <laughs> one broadcast, uh, I was talking about, because we know we started an agricultural team. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank my agricultural team who's putting their shoulders to the wheel, trying to get things done. Wonderful. Hey, man, I saw the pictures that you sent of the shed that they built, building out there on the land. And so we can buy the tractors and the plow so we can start plowing our land and we can start planting good wonderful, things. Wonderful, here. wonderful. And I was talking about it on a broadcast, and my God, <laughs> mother talked to me, one false prophet. I guess he put his wife up to call my mother <laughs> and try to run my name down and all that stuff. But Mother Rose stood up for the truth and said, if you got a problem, then you tell your husband, your pastor, they call Pastor Jennings. But then her daughter. Mm. Brina, the militant one. <laughs> you know, let me tell you something. Militancy have its place. Right. Yes, it is. One man said a man can't ride your back unless it's bent. Amen. Brother Brina stood up the hull and put that woman in check, and that woman backed up. I ain't call her sense. Amen. They didn't want her to give the church the land. And they think, now remember, that preacher, he don't know me. And his wife don't know me. He just met me a few times. But me as a person, he don't know. Wow. He just know what people told him. Right. You figure he could run my name down. Mm -hmm. But when you're a bishop, you don't give the hearsay. No. See, a bishop don't give the hearsay. That's right. A bishop's supposed to speak what he knows. You know. That's right. But his greed for land. Yeah. Didn't like the fact. Gave the land to the church. Mm. Well, it's done. Amen. Huh? Amen. I meet with my agricultural team. I look for them to tell me what can we grow. I want to see what can we grow. Some llama beans, some speckled beans, some candy yams, some sweet potatoes, some white potatoes, some corn and what not Amen. get the stuff harvest and then we buy our stores and stock our shelves and have a nice big cookout while we listen and hear the word of god amen wonderful anytime you're willing to be crooked and conniving and greedy really? just to get land you ought to go to hell that's right you're not a preacher that's right all right, son. If any be blameless, the you hope. Know, God is blessing the church. Yes, he is. I mean, he really is. Oh, uh, one sister came from Liberia. Amen. Amen. The family owned the church in Liberia. I didn't even know her. She, she's in the headquarters. She came to me in my office one day with the deeds and everything. Put mm -hmm. them in my hand and gave the church and all the property of the family owned in Liberia and signed it over to the church. I didn't even know that the, people ex the place even exists. Wonderful. Gave it to the church. Amen. Now at no time did we ever beg the people no. or ask the people to give the church your land. We don't do that. No, no. If you want the church to have it, fine. If not, 
Fine, because I say like Peter, wasn't it thine own? Because when we die, we can't take it no way. That's right. Glory to God, but while we have it, we're gonna glorify God on it. That's right. Till that land and go out there and shout with a potato in one hand <laughs> and a corn on a cob in the other. <laughs> eh? Amen. Potato in one hand and corn on the cob in the other, and just shout. <laughs> you get what I you get what I tell you? That's right. Hallelujah. God move on people to That's be wonderful. a blessing That's to the wonderful. church. That's right. That's right. And when God is in something, is you in. can't stop it. Amen. Don't you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. Hallelujah. When God is in something, Hallelujah. nobody can stop it. No, no. What do you thought that it meant when Daniel said, I saw a stone hewn up the mountain That's right. without the hands of the man? Hands of a man. Who was that stone? Was Jesus it? was. How was it healed out without the hands of a man? That meant the coming of Jesus. Mary had no relation with the man. That's right. Uh, Who was that mountain? The spirit was the mountain. That's right. Because when Daniel looked again, he saw that mountain that filled the whole earth. That's and right. nobody can fill the whole earth but the spirit of God. That's right. A mountain is greater than the stone. Oh, yes. That's why a stone hewed out the mountain. The body of the Son of God comes Hallelujah. from the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Then that stone come rolling, rolling through Babylon. That's right. Tearing down a king. The kingdoms of the world. That's right. Jesus come tearing down everything that's unrighteous. That's, that's right. why the stone that the brothers refused become the head of the corner. corner. That's it. Mm. And the stone is still still tearing down yeah. and tearing up everything. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Wonderful. Man. And many of you still rejecting that stone. Oh yes. Who is the head of the corner? That's right. Come on, son. If any be blameless, if any be blameless, the husband of one wife, one wife having faith. You're married. Children, how many wives? One wife. That don't mean you got to be married to be a preacher. No. If you don't want to be married, that's your business. It's your business. So you shouldn't be out trying to make babies then. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Being married ain't gonna make you a preacher. No. Take the Holy Ghost to be in you. Oh, yes. You can be mad all you want, but that doesn't mean you get mad. Don't give you anointing. No. Laying with your wife, do not anoint you. <laughs> no, in no. In fact, that's the wrong time for the anointing. That's right. Ain't no man that understand the Bible that lay with his wife want to be anointed. No. But the anointing come over you, that's going to break the mood. Break it. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Amen. Amen. You coming right out. You coming right out of the mood you're in. Yes, you will. You laying there talking all that trash talk, <laughs> but when the anointing comes, Holy Ghost get a hold of you. You getting up and come out of that bed. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. That's right. Holy Ghost down with you, honey. Honey, I'm ready to go to bed now. Yeah. Ready to go to sleep now. The Lord done dealt with me. <laughs> I'm ready to go to sleep now, baby. The Lord wore me out. I'm That's tired. Right. We'll pick this back up three months later. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's right. Oh, that's it. God. <laughs> Come on, William. The husband of one wife. The husband of one wife. Having faithful <laughs> children, not accused of riot or unruly. Faithful children. Children got to be faithful, not accused of riot or unruly. For a bishop. As long as they're under your roof, right. you put your foot down and hold God's word on them. That's right. Children don't want to obey. This is the remedy. Here, here, children. You don't want to obey your parents. This is the remedy. Get out and leave. <laughs> Get your own place. Get your own. Make your own rules. That's right. Be your own man. Be your own woman. That's right. Otherwise, in that long as you're under that roof, you got to respect and obey the rules of that house. That's right. All right. For a bishop must be blameless. Must be blameless. As the steward of God. Got to be the steward of God. Not self will. You can't be self will. You got to accept reproof. That's right. You elders that get upset with Pastor Jenner's. God's apostle. Amen. I know this going to burn them oh, that's up. Gonna burn them. Yes, that's All right. of you elders out there. Hey Amen. Don't you know I'm your apostle? That's right. I'm your apostle. That's right. Yeah. That's I don't right. care what you say. No. I'm your apostle. That's right. I mean, you can go out there all you want and say there are no apostles now. That's all right. That's that doesn't right. bother me at all. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm your apostle, whether you accept it or not. That's right. Amen. And you can't change it. I was made by Moses God. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. You out there saying Paul all day and you? No. Paul didn't do it. Paul ain't thinking about you. Paul ain't thinking about you. Peter ain't thinking about you. 
Why? They're dead. They don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. Amen. To be an elder today, you got to be ordained like the elders were yesterday. That's right. Tell me there ain't no apostles now. The bishop is the head of the church. Show me that scripture. Show me that. I knock that over like a bowling ball, knock over pins. Amen. Knock it down flat. Oh, yeah. Come on, son. Not self-will. Not self-will. Not soon angry. You can't get mad quick when the word of God beats you and beats you and beats you. You got to take the beating. That's it. So you should not be making broadcasts or anything fighting the word of God. Uh, amen. Huh? Amen. I know some of you going to do now. What you're going to do is try to go make broadcasts. Whether it's in the north, east, west, or south, to try to prove there are no apostles now and try to say only the ones that was with Jesus was in the past. No, 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 no. God set them first in the church. That's it. And I dare anybody walking the earth to show Bible where God took them out. Took them out. All you got to do is walk in wherever we are, yeah. show Bible where God took I want the Bible to say God took them out. That's it. I got Bible that said God put them in. them in. And being that you said there are no more, you got to get Bible that says God took them out took and them out. then show where God, who took their place. Right. Yes. Got to get Bible where God took them out. That's it. And you got to show Bible who and what office took their place. And where the Bible said it. That's right. That's right. Now you can scream all you want now until you get those scriptures. You go somewhere and sit down and cross your legs for hell. Amen. Cross your legs for hell. <laughs> That's right. Come on, William. Not self will. <laughs> Not soon angry. Amen. Don't get mad quick. Not given to wine. Don't know why. No. Nope. Yeah. Amen. You alcohol anonymous preachers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You preachers that's in the AA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go somewhere and sit down. That's right. You ain't got no business being in nobody for the No. No. You folks think he's in the spirit. He in, he in a spirit. He got wine and spirits. Wine and spirits. Bishop Jack Daniels. <laughs> that's right. Eh? That's right. Bishop Jack Daniels. Amen. Elder Champagne. My Lord. Apostle Vodka. <laughs> A bunch of heathens. Bunch of heathens. Come on, Williams. Not given to wine. Not given to wine. No striker. Two ways to strike with your hand or with your mouth. When the Bible wear you out, don't you get up and try to get Bible to retaliate. That's right. Take it and submit and obey. That's it. That's I know right. you don't like this. Amen. But you got this to obey. Oh, now, yeah. after this message, all social media can holler and scream. Amen. You do that now. Amen. You holler and scream, but you cannot jump over these scriptures. No. Yeah. Not given to filthy lucre. One man said, I don't acknowledge you as an apostle. I don't need your acknowledgement. You don't need it. You didn't know that? That's right. I don't even need your acknowledgement and don't want it. I have all heaven as, <laughs> as an acknowledgement. That's right. I have all heaven. Yeah. That's right. Someone said, God going to you, strike you down. No, he ain't. <laughs> no, he's not. I can stand flat footed in the eyes of God. I got all heaven. That's right. Oh, we take God as my witness. That's right. And the seal of my apostleship That's is right. from heaven. It's from heaven. Now, I know you don't like it, but uh, you can't do nothing about it. No. Not only can you do nothing about it, you can't do anything with it. With it. But talk about it and scream about it. But when it's done, I have it. That's it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Take God. That's, that's when wonderful. it's done, I have it. I have it. Amen. That's why I'm able to speak with such authority and such boldness. Amen. Think of it. Think of it. Yeah, these men out here, ain't nobody threatening them. No. They gospel not so strong until a government don't want them in their country. That's right. A whole government. A whole government. A government meets to vote whether they want me in their country or That's not. That's right. One man said, well, I ain't got I ain't got no bodyguards. You ain't preaching nothing. Amen. Not even Snoopy will guard you. <laughs> I don't have no bodyguards either. No. Well, you got security. I don't have no bodyguards. No bodyguards. The security, a lot of folks don't know how security was designed. Security was designed years ago on Frankfurt Avenue. I was up broadcasting live. Amen. Didn't even have half of the people we have now. Right. Not even half. And uh, there was a woman that used to be in the church. Went out there, all these needles in her arm. Never forget, she was sitting to my right. Mm -hmm. My youngest son, Brother Malcolm Malik. Malcolm Malik Jennings. He wasn't born yet. Mm -hmm. The youngest baby was Persia. 
He was sitting on Dottie's lap. They were sitting in the back. And then the girl started cussing while I'm preaching. Kept interrupting service. I said, all right now. All right, you better be quiet or we're going to escort you out. The girl mother sitting there wouldn't do nothing. So I told the mother, I'm, I'm live over there. I said, would you get your daughter yeah. and get her quiet? And she's the mother just sitting looking at me like she don't know what to do. So I told her brother, listen, you get off the keyboard and you go get your sister and get her quiet. I went back preaching again. She yelled out again, F you, Pastor Jennings. We kept preaching, kept preaching. F you, Pastor Jennings. I said, all right, it's time for her to go. So then by that time, her mother got her senses. They came all the way from over there to get her. Her brother got off the keyboard to come get her. So her mother's sisters came to usher her out. When she saw them coming, she caught everybody off guard. They grabbed her to usher her out. She pushed her mother. She pushed, punched her brother in the face. She ran through the aisle and targeted my wife. Right. My wife sitting there holding my daughter, who was a baby. If she would have had a knife, she would have got five or seven clear stabs on my wife. Yep. She went and started attacking my wife. And my wife went down to protect our youngest daughter and took the blows. But then my youngest daughter hit the floor. That's when I saw the back of my wife. <laughs> to this day, I don't know how that long skirt she didn't go through the aisle. She leaped clean over the pews. I don't care how much Holy Ghost you got. Someone attack your child, you're going after them. That's right. But they got her. They, they, got, the, they got the sister. Oh, uh, my wife was hot. And the mother didn't want charges to be pressed. Didn't want it. So my wife got to take care of that sister. They found that sister dead. That's right. A few years ago, they found yes. her dead. Yeah. I never seen the righteous forsaken. That's right. No seed, big bread. Died with no God and no repentance. No repentance. Leave God's people alone. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Hear this? For a bishop must be blameless as the steward so of God. The, so the brothers came to me and said, listen, let us form security. I said, that's what y'all want to do. You go ahead. They said, that way people can feel safe when they come to church. I said, all right, you do that. That's what you want to do. They said, well, we just want to run it by you first. I said, that's what you want to do. Go ahead. No guns. No weapons. That's right. None of that. Amen. So they met with the chief of police of Philadelphia so they can know what they are allowed to do and what they were not allowed to do so no laws are broken. Right. So they can function within, within the guidelines of law. That's right. That way no one can try to file charges and say, well, they done this and done that because then, uh, then the chief police got the handbook and showed them what they can do and what they can't do. Right. I never thought we're living in a time now where you have to have security in the church with all these nuts coming in here. That's right. People coming in want to shoot and murder church people. Right. See, a lot of people who complain don't know that security has stopped a lot of guns from coming in. Oh, yeah. Y'all didn't know it. Y'all was too busy somewhere in the spirit. <laughs> Didn't know it. <laughs> they had no idea. No idea. Have got men, grabbed them, held them down, and cuffed them. Came in with 38s and 45s. Yeah. You upstairs singing, can't change it. <laughs> you can't change it. It's the word of God. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> you had no idea. No idea. The folks was being handcuffed and called the police to have them arrested. Yeah. Take them out. Throw him in jail. You had no idea. Yeah. So we don't have, we don't carry guns. We don't carry switchblades. No. But we ain't let nobody come in here and disrupt or threaten God's people. That's right. 
our old mothers and our old men. Our yeah, you come in here and try to snatch these people back of books and run out. Amen. Don't sit back and say, in the name of Jesus, you better go get them. Get them. Brothers, get them. That's right. Get them. Hold them down. Put handcuffs on them. Hold them there to the police count. That he that still, still no more. Still no more. <laughs> That's right. Well, did I repent? I forgive you. Go to jail. Go to jail. <laughs> Feel nice in prison. Humble you. Yes, it will. Go in the prison and sit next to Butch. <laughs> <laughs> so he can tell you, this is my book. <laughs> That's right. Amen. 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 You'll get educated then. Yes, you will. A lot of folk, and that's why a lot of folk think that we're Muslims. We ain't never been a Muslim. No. I never was a Muslim. Never. never. We just believe God church is a place that must be respected and honored. That's and this true. is why so many men have wandered off the streets. There's a bishop that's dead today. His name was Bishop Bowser. Hmm. He had a church in Newport News. That's where Brother Bowser came from. Bishop Bowser. His intense was good. He was helping a man off the street. Gave the man work in church. Fed the man. Clothed him. The man was hungry. The man was at church with Bishop Bowser working. The man took a hammer. Hmm. Bowser was up in age. And beat him to death. In his head, crushed his skull with a hammer. Everything that shine is not gold. That's right. That's right. So this is why it's sad that we have to resort to this, where people got to be searched and all this stuff. But God says, "My house should be called a house of prayer for all people. Mm -hmm. Not our His house should be a stockpile of weapons." Brought right. in by all people. That's right. Amen. So don't get offended if you get searched and whatnot. We're living in a time now. Time. Yeah. We're living in a time that's totally different from 40, 50, and 60 years ago. Oh, yeah. So when you hear these fellas brag, there ain't nobody coming out of church threatening us. You ain't preaching nothing. That's right. Read your Bible. The apostles were threatened. Threatened. You ain't preaching nothing to make a cat hunch his back at you. That's right. A cat won't even hiss at you. <laughs> you don't do nothing. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. What you preaching to make Kermit laugh. Yeah. You ain't preaching nothing. Come on, William, real quick now. For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God. What? Not self will. You can't be self will. You got to take reproof. You got to take correction. You can't be self will and rise up. Not soon angry. Oh, don't get mad quick. Not given to wine. No wine. No striker. No, not with your hands or with your mouth. Not given to filthy lucre. You can't love money. Amen. I remember one Jack Leg tried to buy Williams. Yes, he did. Offered him $500. 500 measly dollars, Pastor. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He, he, he thought he Williams thought. would leave the truth. My Lord. Yeah, this man is priceless. Mm. Hallelujah. Williams is priceless. My Lord. <laughs> Little Yosemite Sam, Johnny come lately, pimp. Yes. Too late for that. Pastor. Or little $500. Oh, Too late. To someone that's priceless. My Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm, hallelujah. 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 Glory, hallelujah. These men are no good dogs. No. Yes, they are. Get me. But a lover of hospitality. You are show hospitality and what else? A lover of good men. Good men. Sober. Sober, stable minded. Just. You'll be honest. Holy. What? Holy. Speaking in other tongue. That's it. Holy. Jesus was on the cross. Yeah. In the days of Daniel, 
Many, many te kel you fasten. Another tongue, another language. That's right. Eli, Eli, le masa batri. Many, many te kel you fasten. Yeah. You can't be holy unless you got the Holy Ghost. That's right. You ain't got no Holy Ghost. You ain't spoken in tongues. No. This ain't speaking in tongues. <laughs> no. No, no. That, that's a Gatling gun. Gatling. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Machine, gun Machine gun kill it. Machine gun kill it. King, Machine gun got jammed. That's right. <laughs> Then they make their voice go up and down like they got some. Yes. <laughs> My Lord help me. Like you a Ferrari, you filled with it. You got engine grease in you. That's right. You non-holy bums out there. Bums. Hear this? Holy. What? Holy. What else? Temperate. Self-control. Don't practice getting all what you can get. That's right. Because the Lord may put you in a predicament you can't get it. Yeah. Practice self-control. Exactly. Even if you're able to get it, don't get all what you can get. Suffer the want of some things. Yeah. So when you get in a predicament you can't get what you used to get him, you don't practice self-control, you won't sin. That's right. Just to get it. That's right. I ain't never offered people money to be a part of First Church. No, no, no. I never had to resort never to, had such to, a, do that. to such a pimpish, That's right. low, doggish street thing. <laughs> That's right. Never, never, and gotta never. buy people and give them a day. <laughs> right. we, we'll give you a day. We we'll have a day just for you. That's pimpism. Yes, it is. Pimpin. <laughs> That's pimpin. That's right. Am I right, Shabazz? <laughs> That's pimpin. That's pimpin. I said. That's right. That's right. Amen. You go somewhere and take them pimp clothes off and go sit down. Amen. <laughs> Come on, William. Holding fast the faithful word. Glory to God. Listen, that he's laying it to the elder. Hold fast faithful words as, as he has been taught. Who's teaching this elder? The apostle. God ain't. No. He, God is teaching them through the apostle. That's it. What is it? That he may be able by sound doctrine. What kind of doctrine? Sound oh, doctrine. Oh, we're going to crack your back with Bible with this. Mm. They don't like it. They, no, they don't, don't like it. Like it. No, They're going to no. scream and yell from north, east, west, and south. But when it's done, you're going to come back to the Bible. That's this right. This is what gives me confidence. This don't change. Nope. Read fast. Holy fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. And what? That he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gain. Well, there are many unruly. And vain talkers. And deceivers. Especially they of the circumcision. Who mouths. Must be stopped. What do they do to the house? Who subvert whole houses. They ruin God's people. Teaching things which they ought not. For what? For filthy lucre's sake. I would never have a bunch of men preaching during a church anniversary who don't believe the same thing. No. I would never stoop that low. Oh, no. Never. Never. You're either going to believe what the Bible says or get out the pulpit. I see. All right. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own. Said the Christians are always liars. Evil beasts. Slow belly. This witness is true. What shall we do to them, Will? Wherefore, rebuke them sharply. Lay them out. That they sharply. May, that they may be that sound, they may be sound, in, the sound faith, in the faith. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. Not giving fables, heed to Jewish fables. And commandments of men. That turn from the truth. They turn from the truth unto the pure. All unto things the are pure. pure. All things are pure, but unto them that are defiled, that are defiled and unbelieving, and now they are no longer believers. Is nothing they pure. They don't believe that nothing is clean. But even their mind and their minds and their conscience is defiled. That's why they fight the truth of God because the way they think and the way they feel is defiled. They profess that they know God. But in works, but in work, they deny him. Being abominable and disobedient. And every good work, reprobate. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. All right, Valdosa. It's time to get yourself right with God. Hallelujah. Anybody want to get right and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ the right way? Stand on your feet tonight if you want it. Come on, Valdosa. Hallelujah. Look at here. Look at here. Come on. Come on! All of you that are standing, go to the back. You see them holding up the sign, Baptism Committee. Uh, you see, we got a new congregation already yeah, for right. Valdosa, Georgia. That's right. 
They said, Hallelujah. I want all my viewers to look at that. <laughs> Let the camera show them. Hallelujah. This is the new Valdosa Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at that. Hallelujah. More souls caught in one night. One night. One night. Than what these men doing in over 40 years. Am I right, Russ? That's what the truth of God does. That's the anointing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's the anointing, I said. The new Valdosa has won the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at that line. Look at that. You can't deny it, can you? <laughs> something. Hallelujah. I want all my enemies to look at this. Look at the line. That's right. It's still going. It's still going. Oh, when the saints go marching in. <laughs> eh? Look at that. It's just beautiful. Wonderful. It's just I want all my viewers to look at this because this is what you got to do. That's your right. mama, your daddy, your pastor, all your followers in your church has got this to do. This to do. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. That's something. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> That's right. It's God's doing. Don't blame me for God's goodness. That's right. This is my calling. That's it. Amen. Amen. I'm not puffed up about it. I'm very humble about it. But this is my calling. This is why everywhere, and that's why I tell the brothers, when we send brothers to different places, I tell them, look, you go. Don't worry about the people. I guarantee you people going to come and go down the water. Because when people know that you're from the truth of God, they are so hungry. Hallelujah. Glory. They are so hungry. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. How many brothers we got went back there to baptize? Who are already? Yeah, they're going to need to to rotate. Wonderful. So we'll, we'll, be, we'll be having the new Valdosa, Georgia. First church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The wonderful brother William. Most people have never seen nothing like this since they've been born. You know, something to read about what the apostles done, but for you to get a chance to witness it. It's beautiful in your eyes, isn't it? Oh, yes. We give God the glory here. All right, family, who give me the correct time, brothers? 9.05? All right. Mama June probably closed. <laughs> God willing, I'm going to get Mama June tomorrow. June tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Let us all stand. Bishop Williams of Augusta, Georgia will close us out in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your anointing filling this place today. We thank you for the people of Valdosta, Georgia, who have submitted and committed to what they heard this night. Father, we pray that you would continue to keep your choice anointing upon our apostles. Father, continue to bless his going in and his coming out. And Father, here in, in, in Valdosta, Georgia, let you, the spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon all these people who heard this word tonight, fall upon them individually, and then upon all of us collectively. And then, Father God, meet us on tomorrow 
and let this same anointing operate the same way. And we'll forever give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you blameless to the all-wise and eternal God. Be glory, dominion, and power from henceforth and forevermore. God bless you, Valdosha. Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God he, he fills this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God.